and it's just one day before the crucial Super Tuesday primaries. And today, the Supreme Court is expected to rule on whether one state can actually kick Donald Trump off the ballot. This comes as the former president suffers his first primary election loss of 2024. Good Day New York's Robert Moses is here with more. Robert. Kurt and Rosanna, the Supreme Court is expected to issue its momentous ruling online at 10 a.m. You may remember that back in December, Colorado's Supreme Court ruled that the former president, former President Donald Trump, is ineligible for the state's primary ballot because of his role in the January 6th insurrection. That, the judges said, violated Article 3 of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. Today, the Supreme Court will likely rule on two issues. First of all, is former President Trump eligible for Colorado's primary ballot? And two, is he eligible for the general election? He's expected to win on both counts. The former president, though, lost to Nikki Haley in the District of Columbia's Republican primary. That doesn't change the fact that she will likely get trounced tomorrow, Super Tuesday, when 15 states vote. Yesterday, she left open the door for not endorsing former President Trump, even though she pledged to do so in order to participate in the Republican primary debates. If you talk about an endorsement, you're talking about a loss. I don't think like that. When you're in a race, you don't think about losing. You think about continuing to go forward. What I can tell you is I don't think Donald Trump or Joe Biden should be president. I don't think that we need two candidates in their 80s. To that end, a New York Times Siena College survey found that the majority of President Biden's supporters in 2020 now say he's too old to be effective. An Associated Press poll found similar age concerns with both of these leading candidates. And by the way, the Times Siena poll shows that former President Trump is leading President Biden by five percentage points, 48 to 43 among registered voters, but as I always say whenever I talk about these polls, it's still early. Rosanna, Kurt? Eight more months. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> Thanks goodness. a lot, Robert. <laughs>